What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic. Back again with another video. Today, man, I have something special. Yes, you probably saw the title, so let's just get straight into it. Boom, you have two Nike boxes in, directly in from Nike. If you all know, you should have watched my Travis Scott pickup and review. Um, I recently end up getting my size. I end up getting my size right here. Um, picked up from a guy in Tampa, his name is Jose. End up getting my size. Uh, sold another pair of shoes to add on top and I end up getting my pair right here. So this is a size 10 and a half right here. Finally, finally got my personal pair, man. 11 was fine, but I was like, ah, let's just go ahead and get your original size since you're spending the money anyway. As you see, they came in a Nike box. Came with that Nike receipt right here. You know, we don't play those games over here. Uh, you already know if you watched the video, the legit check, there is a stamp in the box. Go ahead and put this down. And yes, here you have it here. It's Travis Scott 6 and a size 10 and a half. Hopefully that's focusing right there for y'all. Sorry, man, I had to use a different lens. My other lens is acting weird, so I had to put that 50 millimeter 1.2 on there. So it's all my uh, camera geeks out there. But yeah, man, I end up getting this pair, my size, my personal size. I'm glad I got it. It's another box right here. And look what we have inside here. Another Travis Scott 6, man. Hopefully it's not, you know, hopefully that's not going in and out. Hopefully that's not going in and out with the focus. Hopefully it's looking good, but yes, yes, yes. This is a smaller box right here, uh, but this one is a size six and a half. Let's see if it focuses so you see that. Now, automatically I want y'all to notice on the men's pair, they have two different, uh, uh, they have two different labels. You got that long label right there. Then on the kids pair, you have that regular original uh, label right there. So you already know these retail at one 160 for a kids pair. Crazy, crazy how pricey uh, Jordan brand um, is going with the collaborations. But hey, it's a collab. It is what it is. But right here we have a six and a half. Does have that QR code on there? Flip this up. Yes, we have a receipt. Now anybody that's trying to legit check their sneaker, um, don't be too frightened about receipts. Um, some people got them from Nike, some people didn't. A person should, should be able to pull up on their phone, show the email, everything, showing the name, all that stuff, showing you that they got it directly from Nike. I already told y'all what to look for, so you know if you need any examples or any tips, hit me up. Um, now, as far as this one, this is directly from Nike, and I don't see a sticker in the lid, um, but you know, it comes with a standard paper right here, pulling it back. And yes, you have it here, the GS size. Um, these are definitely for the queen. She doesn't even know. Uh, I'm pretty sure she probably won't see the video because she's super busy. But these are for her right here. Travis Scott 6, man. Shout out to Lucky. He did hit this pair for me online. Size six and a half. I have it on, you know, doing right by him, man. He does right by me. So here's that size six and a half right here. And automatically I want to show y'all these because I know it's going to be a lot of controversy with this and I told a lot of people. On lace bags of the men, you have no jump man. Let's, see, let's make sure we clear that out. So you see it right here? No jump man on the men's pair right here. But on the kids pair, on the kids size, you do have a jump man right there on this bag and on this bag. So don't be alarmed about the kids. Like I said, it might be a little bit harder. It might be a little bit harder to verify the kids sizes, but it's the same thing with that stitching. Hopefully I can, you know, hopefully it focuses on that. But the stitching on this around the pocket should be perfect. Should be no issue with that. Um, same thing here is that. It got that same features as the men's size. Um, as far as production dates, what's the production dates on these? Uh, the production dates on these are four, three, uh, through 611 so any of that time frame between like March and Ford is fine anything that I've seen like January and you know before January is pretty much fit. like anything probably before March I've seen is kind of full or fake but off rip you should already know red flags with that man size no jump man and the, the usually the production dates start between three 
March, March to like April. So just be on the lookout for that. But that's not what we're here today for. Um, that's just something quick. I just want to let y'all know that I did get my size. But what I did want to talk about, I want to have a conversation, man. Um, am I the only person that feels like Travis Scott needs to just stop making collaborations with Jordan Brand right now? Not to say just stop totally entirely but you know for the rest of his career but i think right now after getting the air Jordan six i think that needs to be it for a while like air force one is cool like you know what i mean like i'm gonna grab it if i'm able to get it but i'm not paying resale for it if i hit for retail then i'll be you know in the game but i'm not paying resale for that uh air force one unless it's very low like 250 or something like that but what i'm trying to say is uh i just feel like at this point if they keep making like more air jordans um, with that Travis Scott on it right now, at least, because we've got like three in one year. Plus we get another Air Force One. So with that being said, like I feel like it's gonna continue to like water down, water down the whole excitement of getting a Travis Scott um, silhouette and shoe. Um, I feel like right now it's just too many, uh, it's kind of taking that off-white direction. And I'm hoping they don't do that with this, man. I want to just keep it simple. I think these four silhouettes and these four colorways that we got is dope. Um, maybe next year they drop another colorway. Like I heard they dropping the yellow ones. Hopefully you can see it on the screen. I'm hoping they drop the yellow ones. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to grab that, but only at retail. I'm not trying to pay resale for that one because not a big fan of that yellow colorway like that, but I will grab it if you know I can get it for a little price. But really and entirely, I really think they just need to chill out on the Travis Scott, you know, collaborations. Um, and not, like I say, not because it's a, a bad shoe or not dope shoes is that you don't want to keep you don't want to water down what's hot you know what i mean like these are cool that's this makes it dope like you don't want to keep dropping shoes because then it end up killing that rarity like if you got four silhouettes and not a whole bunch of pairs drop i know the sixes they drop they drop so many pairs so many people hit but now i think they just need to take a break like jordan brand if you're listening which i doubt as of right now just chill out on the travis scott collaborations let these, you know, do their thing. Let them cook up, you know what I mean? Like the sixes are at 750 and the man sizes at the, like minimum, like seven, 750. Kid sizes, you know, four or 500. Probably three to four now at this point just because everybody got their pairs in. But what I'm saying is, hey, just chill out, chill out. Let, let, the, let, the, let the stove cook up, let it do what it's gonna do. Do not drop any more. Um, you know collaborations right now that is my opinion y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about that the ones right here i got the fours i got the low i got the sixes you know what i mean like and these are dope like like these are dope colorways like right now we don't need any more like we don't need any more of these like these colors are dope right now we just i just feel like you need to chill out don't drop any more um there's no need no need no need to drop another one Y'all let me know in the comments, man. Uh, I personally believe that this shoe won't pop um, to probably a year from now. Like right now it's 750. It might even drop to like 650, you know what I mean? Which is, it kind of sucks. Might drop to 600, 650 after all the smoke clears. Um, don't quote me on it, cause you know how the market's kind of funny like that. But again, um, I don't think it's gonna pop and go back to a thousand. You know, maybe Christmas time to, you know, the like up to like 10 we might go up to a thousand just because of you know the holidays and kids might want that shoe but i don't see the six like popping too crazy right now that's a shoe you definitely gonna have to sit on as well as all the other silhouettes like i believe all these silhouettes will be something crazy in the future like the one is definitely gonna go up just because of, it's a one you know what i mean and that's the hype you know we see what all collaboration with ones go but as far as like the one low the air Jordan four and the six like they're gonna be teetering for a while so Anybody that's looking to like sell them, you know what I mean? Like I always say, if you got them for retail and you want a quick buck, go for it, man, flip. If you bought these for resale at a good price and you're able to double that profit that you paid resale for to somebody that wants them and they real, good, do your thing. Now, if you're a person that's like, man, I wanna hold for three, four months and then flip, see what it does, it, it, it's a risky chance, bro. You, you know, if you got it for retail, you know, do your thing, hold on to them. But if you paid resale, like, you know, in the sevens, don't be looking to get any, you know, double that in the next six months. It's not gonna happen. Like, just, you know, I, I personally want them to wear, so it is what it is as far as resale. Um, if they drop down, definitely double enough, because like I'm telling you right now, that shoe's not gonna skyrocket up. But 
um, next year sometime, maybe in the middle of the year, or even, you know what I mean, two years from now, it might be something hot. It might be a shoe that's worth two grand, you know what I mean? Like, that's just how the sneaker game rolls. So uh, make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell. You know how it goes down over here at the channel, man. The future belongs to those who prepare today. I'm out.